The FDA is expected to approve a COVID-19 vaccine soon as states prepare to roll out a vaccine. One looming question has to do with storage. Pfizer's vaccine needs to be stored in extreme cold at negative 94 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is a problem for many rural communities that don't have the expensive ultra cold freezers. The drug maker has designed thermal shippers using dry ice to maintain the freezing temperature for 10 days. But once delivered, the vaccine needs to be administered quickly before it goes bad or stored in special freezers. Senator Amy Klobuchar says this is concerning for states with large rural populations like Minnesota. Well, we need funding from Washington. I don't think the Rochester City Council or the Lanesboro City Council is going to be able to buy a bunch of freezers. Um, that's on Washington, and that's why I am staying here uh, until we get this done. I am not going home because that's going to be so critical to getting this vaccine out as quickly and effectively as possible. And we know this really matters to the Rochester area because healthcare workers are going to be on the front line to get the vaccine first. Moderna has applied for emergency authorization on its vaccine as well. Klobuchar says that vaccine could be a more realistic option for rural communities long term. That's because Moderna's candidate can be stored in a refrigerator for 30 days and even at room temperature for 12 hours. AstraZeneca's candidate can be stored for six months in normal refrigerated conditions.